Okay, so today is uh, day 16, I believe, on the CDT. Um, I was trying to remember dates. I think it actually might be Friday the 13th. Um, so that would make sense. It's day 16. And I cannot remember if I mentioned in yesterday's video if um, I was trying to decide between the high route and the low route on the Gila River alternative. I, th I think I mentioned it. And I decided to go for the low route. Um, to finish the Gila alternative, like crisscrossing the actual river itself, um, was about 20 or so miles, I think a little over 20 miles. And then I think we have about 25 or 30 more of this alternative before we join the CDT proper. Um, but it's not um, basically crossing the, the river, you know, two dozen times or, or more in a given day. So today was more of the crossing of the river, um, two dozen or more times, and um, it was uh, actually really cold last night. I think, um, like I noticed it, that was the first night that I had to, to wear my wool shirt to bed, and it was cold this morning, and um, got a, a little bit of a slow start, and uh, the water in the river was cold on the feet, um, with the atmosphere around being being cold, like the air and the and, the sun not getting into the valley until later in the day. So started off slow, but I uh, picked up speed. Um, I think I just had my second 20 plus mile day. So that's, that's great. And, um, everything seems to be okay. Uh, I just rolled into a campsite actually. It's, um, it's a campground and it's, um, it has running water. It has a restroom and it has trash, which is, um beautiful things for a through hiker because we can empty our trash from our bags which lightens the load a little bit um we also get to not have to filter our water we actually get to just uh, turn on a spigot which is great and we get to use restrooms um not in the woods it's actually in a, a structure so tonight is going to be a, a good night um i pressed a little bit i think getting the second 20 mile day of this trip um but when I noticed that there was a free campsite and uh, had the amenities, I, I said, let's go ahead and push through. So that's where I am now. And uh, I need to cook dinner and stretch and set up my tent. And also I, I need to get my feet dry because they've been wet all day. Um, so those are the priority for right now. And um, I think... I think everything else is actually going all right. Um, I, I still think I need to shake out some stuff footwear wise, um, like my insoles because my feet are getting tired at the end of the day. Um, but for the most part right now, I, I think everything everything's going pretty well. Um, I hope that everyone is, is at home is doing well. I know out here on the trail, like I can respond to text messages when I get to town, but like I blew through Doc Campbell's yesterday in an hour, so I didn't get to post new videos or respond to texts. And I think I just shot one text out. Um, and then it's six days to the next town to, to Pie Town. And once I get to Pie Town, like it's it's a small town, like it's um, I think it has a restaurant, it has a pie shop, and I don't even think it has a supermarket. I, I um, like I sent a double resupply to myself there um, because we can't pick anything up in, in the supermarket at all. So um, I don't know if there's going to be Wi-Fi or an opportunity to post videos. So it could be actually a while before I get some videos up, which is unfortunate. Um, and also communicate with people other than just sending like, you know, satellite spot check-ins every night to um, a few people. So uh, things are going well. I'll have to check my mileage, but I think I'm about to hit 250 miles. Um, it was either today or probably tomorrow. Um, I also noticed that blowing through Doc Campbell's without a shower, I'm looking a bit, uh, a bit dirty. Um, so I'll be looking forward to, uh, the next time I can get to a town, have a zero day and, uh, clean up myself, do some laundry, um, reach out to some folks. So I think today's shout out is just, uh, to connections. Um, one of the, the the things that I learned over the last couple of years, not just with COVID, but Bo's passing and being busy with work and not getting out to the wilderness as much as I wanted. Um, and then going from, you know, work, work, work and um, 
and home life to being out in the middle of nowhere, kind of isolated except for the other hikers that you meet. Um, you appreciate those those connections um, in either setting, either to help relieve stress and anxiety or just the connections of like, you know, checking to make sure people are right. So um, I think today's shout out is to connections and, and making sure that if, if you're not doing all right, reach out to somebody um, and they'll help you and they'll, they'll help, you know, talk you through some stuff and be, you're not alone. So make sure you reach out. Um, I'm certainly not alone on the trail today. I uh, ran into a gentleman named Marty, who's actually going through his Triple Crown. He hiked uh, the PCT in 2001, and then he hiked the AT in 2014. So he his 60th birthday present to himself is to get the Triple Crown this year. And um, I ran into um, a few other people. Uh, uh, let's see, Rook and Ketchup and their dog, Odin. And uh, I ran into... Uh, Heavy D and Mouse on the trail. So um, every day we get to kind of do that leapfrog game and meet new people when you catch them up or if they catch you up. And so it's uh, it's always good to connect with um, with other hikers while you're going through you know the same type of um, of journey. One funny story from today, and I think Marty actually got video of it, so I'll see if he'll send it to me. But um, there was a section of the trail that beavers had built a dam, and so that meant that the water of course had risen to a high level because it's now a pool instead of a river and the trail abruptly ended um so like i had crossed the the water to see if i could get through on one side and M marty was on the other side and um on the other side had kind of a drop off where you could drop your bag and then kind of hop down and it was a pretty high drop off and i, I didn't want to drop my bag so I just decided to go ahead and go straight through uh, the uh, the pool, the pond that the beavers had made. And um, I guesstimated with my icrometer how deep it was. I thought it was gonna be about mid thigh and um, I was doing all right. And then there was a surprise at the end, <laughs> it kind of dipped. So um, that, was, that was a bit of, of a fun moment for today. Um, so little surprises everywhere. Uh, any hoozy, I hope everyone's doing well, and um, I will get these videos posted as soon as I can, and, uh, and I'll talk to you folks tomorrow.